So in this InDesign video, we are going to keep working and this time create some check boxes for our interactive PDF form. If you uh, don't see the same kind of layout that I have, um, go to Windows and then Workspace and select Advance. Make sure you also have your button and forms uh, uh, palette open. That can be found under Window and Interactive and Buttons and Forms. So in the radio button group, the way that was created, uh, it's designed to allow you to make one single choice. A checkbox will allow you to make more than one choice. So that's the big difference. So they're created almost the same, but they have a different function. So for consistency, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to uh, grab here one of uh, these frames here and uh, just quickly just copy and paste it using um, the alt drag method select tool hold down alt and then drag and then inside of that now I like using the actual frame tool to create my actual button so I'm going to create my first button here use the uh, select tool and I'm going to click and drag now this one is uh, the frame behind it so I'm going to go to uh, object and I'm going to lock that one so I don't select it I'm going to click and drag both of those two and use my preference bar here align horizontal and vertical click off select just the frame here and when I, what I want to do in the buttons is go down over to um, the buttons and forms and select under the type checkbox. Okay, so the checkbox comes in checked here and the appearance you're going to see, hey, it can be checked or unchecked. I prefer to have it unchecked here. And then I'm going to go ahead and give these uh, checkbox, give these a label. So Apple, each checkbox should be different. Okay, so there's that one here. I'm going to alt drag just to move this video along faster. I'm going to click on this copy of it and it'll say checkbox Apple one. In this case, the name of it is going to be uh, checkbox pair, pairs, and then repeat that one more time. Just alt drag so that way they're all the same size. I'm holding alt and shift to align it. And this last one is going to be checkbox and then bananas. Okay. So by having each one of these named separately, they are going to work as an individual um, group, meaning that you can select all three. If we take a look at the radio buttons here, it's radio button two, radio button two, radio button two. All three of them are named the same, so therefore they exist as a group, allowing you only to make a single selection. Here they're named individually, so they're going to allow you to make different directions. Okay, one thing here, uh, this is the Apple group. We're going to go ahead and change the value to Apple. So if you're returning the value on this form to something else, we want to go ahead and be able to know what these are for. So returning pairs, and then this last one, the button value is going to be assigned to bananas. Now let's grab the label. So I'm going to grab Apple. I'm holding control uh, and um, I'm sorry, I'm going to hold a shift and I'm going to select all three of those, copy and paste them, move them over here. And now we've got our labels. So we're ready to go here. All we need to do is file save and then file export, which is file export is control E. Make sure you do have Adobe PDF Interactive selected here and go, go ahead and click save. I've got a copy. I'm going to overwrite it here. I'm clicking save. In the pop-up window, you want to make sure you create a, a tagged PDF here. Okay, so go ahead and click export. It's going to open up in Acrobat Pro on my computer here. I'm working on the third page of this form here. Okay, so we can see here now, if I select apples in the radio button group and then select pears, all of a sudden apples is deselected. Vice versa, you can only select one. In the checkbox though, you can actually go ahead and select all three. So the purpose of a checkbox is to allow you to make multiple selection, whereas a radio group, it's to make a single selection. If you have two radio groups, as long as each radio group has a unique name, then they will be separate. That's how you use both of these boxes.